Hi and welcome to Clapier. In this video, we will see how to use workflow nodes, specifically the edit submission and create submission workflow nodes available in Clapier. For this video, I will take an example of an inventory management app to show you how you can use those workflow nodes. Here I have created an inventory MIS app which will maintain stock of existing items along with other details. You can fill in the details of the app and submit. You can view all your submissions under the Submissions tab. You can see the submission that I just created along with my past submissions. If you have many entries and do not want to manually enter them into the app, you can bulk upload your data by clicking on the button over here. To view all the details of a submission, you can click on the submission and view the details on the right hand panel. Now since this is an inventory app, for every new stock that comes in, it would need to be added to the current stock of these items. Or if a new product arrives that is not listed here, I will want this app to be updated. For this, I will create another app where employees can update item stock and that will get reflected here. I am creating a new app just so that this app can simply act as an inventory database. So I'll go to the dashboard and click on new app. This second app that I will be creating will be for stock entry made by the employees. So if any new stock is coming in, they can enter the details in this app. Or if a new product has come, which is not there in the inventory MIS app, they can enter the details over here as well. And the details entered in this app should get reflected in the Inventory MIS app. So we will be interlinking this app to the first Inventory MIS app that we had created. First, I'll give a name to the app as Stock Entry. Click on Add Section. Give a section name as Item Update. Now, since I want to update the data from this app to the Inventory MIS app, I will need similar fields. So I'll click on add field and then use the get data from other apps. On the right hand panel, I will change the label to select item. The data source app will be the inventory MIS app. When I click on the selection fields, you can see all the fields that is there in the inventory MIS app. And I will select the fields with which I want to search the items with. So it could be item code and item type or maybe even brand. Based on the search criteria, I will pull certain fields from the inventory MIS app. So it will be item code. Type, brand, price, current stock, unit. Click on save. So this will give me all the details of the item selected from the inventory MIS app. Now if I want to update the item, I will add another field. Click on single line text and change the label to new stock. Similarly, I will create another section in case a new product has arrived. Whereas the first section are for those items that are already existing in the inventory MIS app. So I will change the section name to new item. And then similar to the Inventory MIS app, I will add the fields. I have added all the fields over here. Now I'll add another section at the beginning of this app so that the employee can either select item update or new item. So I'll click on add section, give a section name as select. Click on add field, use the single selector block, change the label to select and give the options as the section name which is item update and new item. Save. Now click on the item update section, go to the advanced option and give a display condition. Under display the section if. To understand how sections work and how display conditions work, you can check out our video on sections. It gives a detailed description about how it works. So over here, if the employee selects item update, then in the app only the item update section should appear. But if they select new item, then the new item section should appear. So here I will type in at the rate select equals to item update. Now I'll click on the second section which is new item. Go to the advanced option under display the section if I will type in at the rate select equals to new item. Now let's go to the app home where the app is live and ready to use. So now you can see the other two sections are not visible in this app. If I select item update, only this section appears. Now when I click on new item, the new item section appears. Since new item and item update have fields identical to the inventory MIS app, so any new stock that is coming in or new item, these changes should be reflected in the inventory MIS app. To do this, we use workflows. So I'll go to design app and then go to workflows. Now say if it is an item update where an item already exists in the inventory MIS app and you just want to update the stock. For this, 
we can use the edit submission node on the right hand panel under select app i will select the inventory mis app since i want to make edits to this particular app now to know which submission to actually alter you will need to correlate a field from this particular app to the inventory mis app so when i click on add filter and then select a field you can choose the field from the inventory mis app to correlate with the stock entry app Item codes are generally unique for every item, so this will be very helpful in correlation. And underneath this, you will have to type in the variable of the item code from the stock entry app. So that will be at the rate item code. Since the only change will be the stock, under set field values, you can make the edits. So I'll click on add field. From the inventory MIS app, the current stock would need to be changed. And whatever stock is entered in the stock entry app should be added to the existing stock in the inventory MIS app. So for that, I'll type in add the rate current stock. The one shaded in gray is the variable for the inventory MIS. So I'll select current stock plus new stock, which is the field in the stock entry app. Now I'll save this. Now that I have configured the edit submission node, I will go to app home to make a submission to see how the edit submission works. So to edit a submission in the inventory MIS app, I will click on item update since I will be editing existing items. Under select item, I can select one of the items that is already existing in the inventory MIS app. So for example, I will select the first item. You can see current stock says 10. And I will add some new stock. So say another 10. So once I click on submit in the inventory MIS app, for this particular item, the current stock should be 10 plus 10, which will be 20. So I'll click on submit. And now I will check the inventory MIS app. As you can see, the item that I just updated, the current stock now says 20. So even if I were to go back to the stock entry app, Click on item update and select that particular item. The current stock now says 20. So this is one of the ways you can use the edit submission node to make edits to your submissions. Now let's see how create submission workflow node works. The create submission will be used for new products. So in this app, if it is selected as new item, which means that the item does not exist in the inventory MIS app, then a new submission needs to be created in that app. So let's configure that. I go to the design app. Now in workflows, when I click on start, I had mentioned that create submission is for new item. So first the workflow would need to check that condition. And then if it is true, then only create a new submission. So first I will give an if node to check for the condition. So on the right hand panel, under condition, I will type in at the rate select equals to new item. Click on save. Now under this if node, I will add the create submission node. Now in the right hand panel, I will select the inventory MIS app. And under field values, you can see that these are all the fields listed in the inventory MIS app. So for each of these inventory MIS fields, I will need to correlate it with the fields from the stock entry app. So for item code, I will type in at the rate item code you can see that there are two item codes over here to know which is which you can go back to the design app and check the variables so under new item you can see the variables and i will use these variables to configure the workflow node now i'll click on save since I have used an if node over here to check the condition whether it is a new item and then create a new submission. Similarly, I can use another if node to check whether it is an item update and then edit a submission. So that when a new submission is made, it will trigger the workflow and check for the conditions first and then accordingly edit or create a submission. So I will just add the if node. Here under condition, I will type in add the rate select equals to item update. Save this and now I'll push the edit submission node under this if node. So I'll click on the edit submission on the right hand panel at the bottom. I will change the parent step to if. So now let's see how the create submission workflow node works. So I'll go to app home, click on new item. Since it is a new product, I will have to type in all the details. Just to make sure that this item does not exist in the inventory MIS app, I will check the submissions tab in that app. And as you can see, that item does not exist. So now once I submit these details, a new submission will get created in the inventory MIS app. 
Now I'll go back to that app, click on refresh and you can see it is now updated over here. So in this way you can use the create submission workflow node to create new submissions in your app. Now going back to the workflow in the stock entry app, you can see that these workflow nodes have been configured under new submission flow. You can also use them under edit submission flow and review submission flow. So for example, if I were to go to app home, when an employee fills in the details of this app, it can happen that they can make an error on submission. To make changes to their submissions, they can go to the submissions tab, click on their submission and then make the corresponding changes. But if they were to make changes in the submissions tab, then it will not be reflected in the inventory MIS app according to the workflows configured. So if they were to make changes here and you need the edit submission or the create submission node to work, then you will need to configure this flow in the edit submission flow. So let me just go ahead and do that really quickly. Now I have only configured the edit submission node to show you how it works. It is the same configuration as we did under the new submission flow. So I will go to the submissions tab, click on a submission and on the right hand panel I will change the new stock. So if I were to check the inventory MIS app for that particular item, the current stock says 20 at the moment. So now in the stock entry submissions tab, if I change this to 5 over here, click on save. Now go back to the inventory MIS app. I'll refresh this submission. The current stock now says 25. If you have to deduct from the current stock, then you can add those configurations. Next we have in the stock entry workflow, review submission flow. So if you need to approve or reject certain submissions and then use the edit or create submission workflow node, then you will have to add them over here. So for example, to add statuses to submissions, we go to step two, which is configuration. On the status, on the right hand panel, add the statuses approved or rejected. Now, if I were to check the submissions tab, at the top over here, you can see the statuses. So once this status is either approved or rejected and then you would like a submission to be edited or created in the inventory MIS app, for that, under workflows, you will need to give the configurations on the review submission flow. These workflow nodes also work in the mobile app as well. All you will have to do is download the Clapia app either on Play Store or App Store and the moment you create your app, you will be able to use it instantly on the mobile app. If you have any queries regarding the configuration of the edit submission or create submission workflow nodes or any other feature in Clapier, you can request support by clicking on the button over here or you can email us directly to support at clapier.com and we'll be happy to assist you. Thank you.